So this is an easy way to create scallop circles. So to create our scallop circles, we need to select the ellipse tool. Then hold down the shift key to draw a perfect circle. Then select the color you want for both the fill and the stroke. To get the right effect of the scallop circles, you need to select the same color for both the fill and the stroke. So now we are ready to do the actual scallop circles. For this, while having the circle selected, go to the stroke panel right here. Then make the stroke wider so you can see what you're doing. Just make it very wide. Then go to this button right here that says round cap and check this one. Now go to dashed line and check dashed line. And for dash, we need to type in zero. This is to get a circle instead of a line for our dashes. And the gap we need to adjust for our specific circle. So simply select the gap field and start scrolling up on the mouse wheel. And now you can see our scallop circles are starting to appear. So now the weight of our stroke is controlling how big we want our circles. And the gap is controlling how big of a gap we want between the circles. And you simply need to adjust this to how you want it to look. So I like the circles to be a bit bigger. For this, simply increase the weight a lot, something like this. But as I increase the weight, the circles are growing into each other. So to counter this, simply make the gaps bigger. Something like this. So now if you have very keen eyes, you can tell that the gap is messing up when we go right here. That is because we need to check this button off right here that says align dashes to corners and path ends. Activating this button alone will fix our problem. So now when you're happy with the result, you might want to turn this into a shape instead of just a path with a dashed stroke. This will make it easier if we want to edit the shape or we want to add a stroke around the border. So to do this, simply select the circle, go to object, go to expand appearance, then go to object again and select expand. Make sure fill and stroke is selected and click OK. But this still isn't one single shape. So now to turn it into a single shape, we need to go to this pathfinder right here. If it isn't open, you can go to window and find it right here. Then check this button right here that says unite. And now we have turned our circle with scallop circles into a single shape. This now means that we can add a stroke to our shape. So simply select the stroke, select the color that you want and select the weight that you want. And if you have the old CS6 like I have, you might run into this issue right here where the render is incorrect. As you can tell, expanding the appearance messed up the arch. Unfortunately, this is a bug and you need to fix it manually. But if you have a newer version of Illustrator, you shouldn't run into this issue. Now, if you like this video, you can hit the like button or you can watch this next video that YouTube recommends for you.